Many healthcare providers have never seen a case of measles because the measles vaccine has been so effective. It is important that you as a healthcare provider can quickly diagnose measles. If you suspect that a patient has measles, you should act quickly. Do not wait until lab tests come back. Patients with measles are infectious from four days before through four days after rash, with day zero being the day of rash onset. So documenting the date when the rash first appeared is important. Control measures must be started immediately. The three things you need to do right away are isolate, obtain specimens, and report. Promptly isolate the patient to a room with a door that closes to avoid disease transmission. Ideally, the patient should go into a negative pressure room if available. Make sure that the only people assigned to take care of the isolated patient are healthcare personnel with two documented doses of measles, mumps, rubella, or MMR vaccine. Also make sure they always wear a fitted N95 mask before they enter the patient's room. Obtain specimens for testing from patients with suspected measles. You should collect a throat swab to detect the measles virus using a test called PCR. You should also collect a blood specimen, which is used to detect IgM antibodies against the virus. IgM testing should only be used for patients suspected to have measles. It should not be used to see if a patient is immune to measles. Immediately report the suspected measles case to the health department. Your health department will let you know where you should send the specimens. They will work with you to identify who else was exposed and who may need post-exposure prophylaxis. We hope you never see a case of measles in your community. Measles is preventable through the use of a safe and highly effective vaccine. It is important to make sure your patients are up to date on their vaccinations. It is also important to ensure you and other staff in your practice have been vaccinated or have documented evidence of immunity. For information on diagnosis of measles, visit cdc.gov forward slash measles forward slash HCP.